On day three, we have added the Mexican hermit crabs to our test. These Mexican hermit crabs are one of the very best cyanobacteria eaters. The cyanobacteria are blue-green algae, but most of the time in an aquarium they're bright red or purple. There's both colors and a lot of them in this tank, and we'll be keeping track of how well they clean up the rocks in the bottom of the glass. The cyanobacteria is thick enough that they can climb right up it. It's about a quarter of an inch thick. I put in approximately 75 of the Mexican hermits into this tank. The reason we choose and always use these Mexican hermits is because they have two very small front claws called chelipeds. They don't have a claw big enough to hurt the snails. They just are a very good algae eater and they seem to prefer the cyanobacteria is where most things won't even eat them. These hermits break up the cyanobacteria algae mat so that they can't, the algae can't create a space underneath it, the surface to dissolve the phosphates out of the aragonite. So as long as the hermits keep breaking up the mat, they can eat the algae and impede its growth by interfering with its normal growth pattern, which is an algae mat that turns out to be very, very intricate. The mats of algae and geothermal hot springs take on a life of their own and almost become a multi-celled organism by creating ventilation and water movement 